Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to The Source Code. My name is Deshaun, and today we are going to be continuing our economy series. Sorry, it's been a while since I've been on this, but I have had some problems lately. And I've had a few other things going on. As you guys know, I started uh, doing some game development, which uh, honestly is extremely difficult for me, especially because I have no prior C-sharp knowledge, so I'm learning C-sharp along with the, the Unity engine and Blender and all these other programs, so it's really taken up a lot of my time. Um, but also the reason why I haven't been on this series is because I recently had to get a new motherboard because my last motherboard uh, wasn't detecting all of my RAM. Well, it was detecting it, but it wasn't using all of it. And as you probably could imagine, that is uh, pretty annoying. So I was only using like 8 gigabytes worth of my 16 gigabytes worth of RAM pretty much all the time, so it wasn't really ideal. So I had to go ahead and get a new motherboard, had to reinstall everything. I wanted to put a fresh install of Windows on just to be safe because I also got an SSD. So I did a fresh install of Windows and I lost all of the progress from this project um, because it didn't back up onto my Dropbox, which you can see down here. So that is a big reason why I haven't been on this uh, series. But let's jump right in. Once again, all of the code will be available for you guys on GitHub, so make sure to go over there and check it out. So I did change a few things uh, in the project here. So in our Mongo Connect here, uh, I went ahead and added a load player data, so that way whenever a player joins the server, or if the server reloads while there's players on it, it'll load up all of their stats if they have any, and it will go ahead and put them back into the player manager hash map just so uh, we don't have to have them log in and log out. The next thing I did is add new player. So for commands that are going to be adding player accounts and so on, uh, we can just go ahead and add, the, add, add a new player, more or less. We can just add them through this one method instead of having to do it uh, over and over and over again and just, you know, being really repetitive there. Uh, the next thing that I did is I went ahead and got rid of my command manager. Uh, well, sort of. I have this class still called command manager, but basically I'm adding the plugin, or the, not the plugin, I'm adding the commands, uh, I'm registering the commands through code rather than in the plugin.yml. I think this will probably be a lot easier to manage on my end, um, just so that way I don't have to have a plugin.yml with, you know, 20 commands and then I don't have to do subcommands and have that giant uh, subcommand class, uh, so I think it'll probably work out better. So yeah, so that's how I'm doing it. So right now I have create and balance, which I believe balance we did last time. Uh, the change in here, obviously, you can see is this uh, this method here, which just go ahead and grabs the description, the uses message, and the permission. And then we can go ahead and run all this. We're checking to make sure the player has permission. We're also checking to see if they're an instance of a player. Uh, if not, I could go ahead and run a message saying, you know, this command can only be executed by players, uh, but I don't want that to actually be the case, so that's why I haven't done that, because I do want to have the console be able to check a player's balance. So then the next thing we have here is this checking if our args, if our args do not equal zero, um, it's going to return, um, which I could probably take out, well, I guess I can keep it in there for now. Uh, and then as you can see here, it says go ahead and get balance, which is going to our economy core which is our get balance here, which we are, instead of using the player name, um, in the link below, you can see all of the, you know, what it says these are. Since this is a string, we don't have to have it be the player name. We can really have it be whatever we want. In, our, in my case, I'm having it be the UUID, so that way I don't have to cast in the player's name and then cast them to the player here. Um, and, you know, all that mess here, I can just run this uh, UUID through here. So then in our balance command, we're seeing here that we are running it through has account. So it's checking to see if that player has an account. If they do, it's gonna find it. If not, it's gonna return null. So if they have an account, we are basically going to go ahead and cast them to that, or cast that player to the player manager hash map. And we're just going to go ahead and return their balance. And then you can see here in our balance command here, we have double balance, player to kind of be broken balance it's casted to a double balance, and then we are running the message here. 
So if we go ahead and just quickly export this again. Um, so right, so if we go ahead and say balance, you can see there that my balance is 100. Uh, and if we go ahead and create count, you can see that my counter already exists. So the nice thing about registering my commands the way that I am is I don't have to have slash day count in front of it. I can just have it be the raw pay, balance, create, bank, you know, all that stuff instead of having to pass it through um, you know, day slash, you know, day con bank, day con balance, day con whatever, 